Hey guys, Mike here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, this video is kind of a sad one for me and um, it's crept up on me really fast because very, very soon, and I mean really, really soon, the final ever character for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is gonna be revealed. Actually in just over 24 hours from now. And this is huge and I wanna talk about it today in this video. And I'd like to give ideas of who I think it could be as well as how I feel about the series ending or the game ending, I should say. Um, so yeah, let's do it. Okay, I will say that for a while, a lot of people were really hopeful that this wouldn't actually be the final character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. They thought it might be a fake out. There might be two characters, but Unfortunately, I do think all signs are pointing to, yes, this is the last character. After this character is revealed, Smash Ultimate will be done. We won't have another Smash Bros game for a very long time, and when we do, it will probably be a reboot of some sort. Um, there definitely won't be as many characters. It definitely won't be what Ultimate is, and it probably won't have Sakurai in it either. That's kind of what I think. They're definitely not going to throw like a bombshell on us like, Hey, look, we've actually decided that we're gonna do a third Fighters Pass with 10 more characters. We're going for another three years, baby. It's just not happening. The team have been working on this game for a long time. It's totally fair and reasonable for them to want to stop, and I get that. That being said, I definitely think it's fine for us as uh, just people and fans of Smash Bros on Sakurai's work and what this game is, which really is a just celebration of gaming in general, right? It is completely fine for people to be upset and disappointed. One, that it is coming to an end, and two, that the character they wanted isn't going to get in if it doesn't get in. That's completely fine. Like, people are really emotional about these things, which is completely fair. There's a lot of, like, nostalgia and emotional feelings that people attach to games and characters they love. So it is really fair for people to feel like that. But again, I think if people are disappointed by the character that is revealed tomorrow, I don't think it's worth getting angry at Nintendo or Sakurai or anyone else who may have been involved in the decision making. Like, it just is what it is. We can't control the decisions they make. We just kind of have to accept it. Unless it's another Fire Emblem character, in which case, nah. And the other reason is this game has been such an event. Like, Ever since the announcement, the original announcement, however many years ago, with Inkling being revealed, um, every reveal since then, and up until release day, and then with the DLC as well, like, it's been a huge thing since 2018 when the game came out, December 2018, so it must have been going for like six months, I think. It was E3 of that year where it was revealed for the first time. So this has been a huge part of a lot of our lives and I personally have watched so many speculation videos. I do want to do a shout out to uh, a few channels that I've really enjoyed watching. Papa Gino's, who has done amazing work since Smash 4 at talking about rumors, leaks and speculation in general. I've really enjoyed his videos. And as well as that, a bunch of others who do some great Smash Bros content like Aaron Nitmar and uh, Good Vibes Gaming as well. I've really enjoyed all of their chats about Smash. So. Yeah, this is a really, uh, I don't know, it's a really emotional time for me. I'm really sad that it's coming to an end. I don't want Smash to end. I do want them to keep making characters forever. I don't care how big the roster is. That's what I would love. Just keep bringing in characters, but alas, it's not going to happen. So let's talk about who it could be tomorrow. If you were up to date with all the rumours and leaks and such, there is a somewhat kind of credible leak, as credible as leaks can be, saying that it will be Sora from Kingdom Hearts, which totally throws out everything that I kind of thought could happen. I really didn't think Sora was possible. There's someone who apparently works for Disney's music department saying that Disney music is trying to be licensed by Nintendo, which confirms Sora. Whatever at the league says, that's what's kind of been thrown out there at the moment. And I genuinely do think that before this Sora was unlikely, now I'm kind of thinking it will be Sora, in which case I guess I am really excited about because I love Kingdom Hearts. It's one of my favorite series of all time. I love Sora as a character and I think his move set potential is enormous and could be really fun to play as him. So I'm definitely not upset or disappointed that it could be Sora. However, if you've followed me for a few years, you will know that my two front running characters that I really wanted were both Crash Bandicoot and Waluigi. At this stage, sadly, it does look like Crash is increasingly unlikely, which is really disappointing. And I really don't think, well, like I did think that Waluigi would be the perfect last character for the game because he's been, he's sort of like the only 
I don't know, the only first party character that I think is such like a meme in the community that he hasn't gotten in, so I just think it fits. He's the final character so well, but I really don't think that's gonna happen. Unfortunately, I think I have kind of given up hope on Crash and Waluigi being in the game, which is huge for me because I was definitely a front runner for both of them. Sora, however, I can definitely get behind and I'd be really happy about. The thing, the only thing that I guess puts me off about Sora, and again, you always kind of have to be really skeptical with leaks. Like, it's always just someone on the internet that could say anything, but I do believe this leak did specify October 5th, which is the date of the last direct, which is a really crazy thing to guess, right? What I think about Sora is, it's weird to me that in the same past that they had Sephiroth, another kind of iconic uh, Square Enix character from Final Fantasy, I don't know if there'd be another Square Enix character, right? I, I don't know if they'd have both Sephiroth and Sora in the same pass. Of course there's no rules to this, but that's the only thing that makes me think maybe they were trying to get Sora and they ended up bargaining for Sephiroth as, instead because Sora was too hard with the Disney Association. That kind of pops into my head because I would have thought that, like, if there was going to be another Square Enix character, then to me it would definitely be Sora. So you've got Cloud and Sephiroth in there, and then having Sora as well. I think Sora is great because he's huge in both the Japanese and Western markets, as opposed to someone like Crash Bandicoot, who is probably more suited to a Western audience. Like, I wouldn't say Crash was ever that big in Japan because it was an American developer putting that game together and that series together. Um, so I guess what I'm thinking is that yeah, in terms of like global popularity, Sora is definitely up there. Kingdom Hearts is one of the most best-selling franchises of all time. It, it has been on Nintendo platforms with Chain of Memories, Dream Drop Distance, and um, uh, 358 over two days and coded on the Nintendo DS. So it does have a Nintendo presence. And yeah, am I going to be upset to not see Crash? Yes. Am I going to be happy if it is Sora? Yes. Uh, other characters, I don't think it'll be Master Chief. I think uh, Nintendo used a lot of their bargaining power on Steve as well as Banjo, both of which I think suit the demographic a little bit better than Master Chief. Not that I wouldn't want Master Chief. Doom Slayer gets thrown around a bit. Don't think it's going to be him. Um, and as far as first parties, if it has to be one for me, it would be Waluigi. It wouldn't be someone like uh, Dixie Kong or some other names I've heard flying around. Anyway, Smash Ultimate is coming to an end. This is very sad for me. Um, I play this game all the time and I love it very much. It is something really important to me, which is kind of a weird thing to say about a game, but it is something that I do when I'm stressed out and I just want to unwind for the night and chill out. I'll play a bit of Smash Bros. Um, and engaging with the speculation helps me chill out and is really fun for me. So thank you uh, to everyone who plays online, to everyone who plays the game. I'm glad you love something as much as me. And I hope if you haven't checked out any of my videos, you'll subscribe. I, I'm a podcaster from Melbourne, Australia. I work in the podcasting industry, but I do, do a few gaming videos on the side uh, out of my own personal interest. So I'd love for you to check out some of my stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. Comment who you think is going to be the final character. I think my lock is Sora, and I will be overwhelmingly surprised and happy with Crash, because yeah, my tier list of who I want is Crash, Waluigi, Sora. Um, and I should say that my dreams were answered when Banjo got in, so I can't complain about this roster. It's incredible. It's amazing. Sephiroth as well. But let's see what happens on the 5th. It's very exciting, and uh, I hope Whatever happens, you're happy and you feel like uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was a great experience. I'm sad to see it go. Of course, we can still play it, but no more DLC and debate and discussion and speculation is going to be really hard to give up. But I can't wait for whenever we get a future installment to Smash Bros. to see what that could be. Anyway, my name's been Radio Mike. Subscribe to my channel, check out my podcast and some of my other videos that I put up here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Thank you.